Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Let's Tour on the Ardercraft server and just look at that view. Just just look at it, right? Before we actually start this video, I'm going to get a timer up on my phone and that way I won't be just having a full-on orgasm for 50 minutes while you watch because that would just be a bit awkward. But this city in particular... I'm just in love with it. Now it's so huge and there is so much to see. I'm not actually going to um, be looking at what's it called? Interiors. I might check out one just to see. But I'm, I'm assuming that the interiors are just going to be your basic generic interiors. I mean if it is anything spectacular then you know we'll, we'll, we'll take a second look. But I'm not expecting anything too fancy. So 20 minutes starting from now is the timer so that gives you an idea of how long this video is going to be um, also I might end up doing a part two because across the water there is another huge side of this city and we also want to go and explore that thing over there um, there we go I had to remember which button it was I, I just mean yeah I, I love Mifflond so those that you don't know, Mithlond is the Grey Havens. The Grey Havens are in the Lord of the Rings films, right at the end, eh, the tiny very end of the last film, when uh, Frodo and Bilbo set sail uh, into the sunset. And that is Mithlond. I mean, look at this. Just for a coin, it's just so beautiful. It's just so... <sighs> this is really cool. I wish we could do things like this. Uh, more in Conquest. I think with the modded Conquest Reforged you might be able to do stuff like this, putting flowers on top of leaves, but every time I've tried to do it they always uh, just flick off. Flick off? Ping off. Ping. Ping sounds better than flick. Uh, so there's not much going on up here, but that's fine. I kind of like it. I'm loving this block as well, this pillar. Really, really nice like shade to it. I don't know, I just really like it. Just this whole courtyard. Alright, let's get the interiors out of the way first. Let's go check out both these, and then we're done with interiors. So, huh! Okay, no interiors. <laughs> Perfect. So, we're getting to a point now with these videos where a lot of the builds are still heavily under construction. And as you might have noticed earlier, uh, you do have this here. So I, I don't really know what they mean. I've got my animations turned off as well, so that's why that's like that. Um, change roof piece. So if they're not happy with this, then it needs to be fixed. So there's loads of little things that they're still changing in areas as well. So we'll try and find some more complete areas. Um, which will make it a little bit more interesting for the videos, I guess. But I just I had to do Mifflon. This is just beautiful. You can see now, looking over there, there's loads of little green lights showing up all over the place. There's an awesome bridge over there. Oh my god. This is just going to get pretty cool. And it's also got night time, and I can't change the day, I don't think. So, let's see. P-time, day. Time, set, zero. Yeah. So, I can't actually change the time of day, so we'll just have to explore at night. So, I'm really sorry if this uh, is really hard to see, but... Oh, there is, it, there is some interiors, actually. Oh, there's a bit of an interior. Um, I, I can't see up there. So let's just go and explore some of the streets and get a feel for the village. So that's quite nice. I'm not seeing the hanging basket flowers used very often yet. Although, I bet they have been used loads. This is just a really cool street just already. So this is where I'm looking for inspiration for some things that you don't see regularly so this would be you know multi-level streets this looks like a real street like you think about a real city like an older city that you've been to um maybe some of you haven't uh, you know aren't european i'm not sure you have many street um places like this in america and stuff like that but this, this just feels like a completely real street and you've got the steps of the houses on the side and the houses are all different levels and just like, you know, you've got this bit going up here, and you've got the same there, this side going up. It's just, just putting things on different levels constantly just completely changes the whole landscape of your build and the whole feel and sense of your build. I mean, look, it goes off down here to a different direction, still going off down there. 
really gives you a sense that you're on a hill or you're in a real location. This is really nice. So that's like a, a lattice fence gate design here into some little secret garden. I really wish it was daytime. You know, I might just wait. I might just wait around until it's daytime. Ooh. Fancy moon shining on me though. Really nice. And this looks like is this a ruin? Or is this like a house that's going to be No, no, this is a ruin. This this is. That's really cool. I really like that. The fact that they've got like a little ruin in there. Again, it just adds more feel to the uh, the settlement. It makes it feel older, like it's been around longer. Um, I really like that. That's really cool. Is there more of that around here, maybe? No, not so much. Just the one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm gonna hover here in the air until it goes to daytime. And then we're going to resume the video because it's a little bit too hard to see things at night. And I can't change the time of day. So, I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, we're back. It's daytime. We can now get on with some of these pretty things. Um, so, as I said earlier, it's still work in progress. You can see some sections here where there's planning on buildings, I'm guessing. Um, still a few rough edges around, but, you know, a city this big, project this size, there's going to be a little missed bits, and obviously it's not finished, so obviously it's... Well, it's not finished, is it? So there's going to be things like that. Alright, so let's get moving through the city again. Let's see. Let's follow this little canal around. This will be the wrong way because I can already see a huge cliff in the way. So that's great. Um, this this is really nice. This is something that I've been wanting to see in Arda Crafts built. Um, just a bit of crap lying around. <laughs> that's, that's a nice way to put it. It makes it like... Walking through the streets... They feel empty. It doesn't feel like people are living here. It doesn't feel like people are working here. So this this is nice. This adds that sort of sense of something's going on here. Like if this was just empty, it'd just be like, yeah, it's just another little bit in the river. But now there's stuff here. It's like, oh, okay, so maybe there's some barges, some poor boats. Look, exactly right here, the boat. So you know, obviously. You know, something's happening, there's movement, there's work going on, there's life here. And that's what you want to see in your build. You need to give purpose to some of the areas that you build. You need to make it feel like there is life, that people live in your cities. And if you just build a city and it's just empty streets and stuff, it's just sort of a little bit like, eh, that's okay. Um, this is quite nice. A little bit of vegetable, vegetation patches going on. I'm not too sure I like this arch though. Like, I'm just not too sure what it adds. Like, if it's meant to be structural, I don't see why. I'm guessing it's not. If it's meant to be... You know what? I bet it's planning for something. I'm going to assume it's planning for something. I was going to say maybe it's like decorative, but then it just seems so random. It's got to be planning, so something to do with that castle, there's going to be something down the bottom here, which I'm guessing is going to open up into these gardens. So maybe it's to do with kitchens or something like that. Maybe that... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I've just made logic out of that. Um, I'm probably going to do a second video just exploring this castle or just exploring the north area of the city, but let's, let's go over this bridge and we'll try and stick to the roads as much as we can. I like exploring... <laughs> Uh, I like those noises. I like exploring builds from the floor rather than flying around because you get more of a sense when you're walking around of what they're meant to look like. This is a cool little garden. Um, when people are doing flowers and stuff like that, this is what you should be aiming for rather than like what you see sometimes. is like there would probably be none of these pink flowers and just like five of the yellow flowers. And they'd be like, oh, garden. And that looks really nice. This one, not so much. I don't think the pink and orange go, but that's just my personal preference with the tulips. Let's go explore over the, this way, over the bridge. And this is going into the unfinished section of the thing, so we'll just go around a little bit. So I know I've just mentioned about flying around, but I'm sort of flying at street level, so it's fine. That's my thinking. 
Because this place is so big, I forgot to start my timer. No, we'll never know. Uh, um, timer, resume. Okay, so we'll just stop a couple of minutes early. Um, so yeah, as you can see now, we're really getting into sections where there's just like little bits that aren't finished. Really nice little diagonal. Well, <laughs> now I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying this from the other craft people. But to me, this is a church. <laughs> like if you think of a European Catholic church with this little bit on the top, little bell tower on the top. and There's a really, really nice angle and stuff and it really fits into the streets nicely but that could work quite easily in a medieval setting. Um, nice hill again, leading up. Love this little trellis gateway thing here. And again, it leads off over in this direction, it goes off in that direction. So, okay, no, that's a church. That has got to be some sort of um, religious building. I mean, how can this not be? I mean, what? Oh, there's actually stuff inside it. Oh my god, <laughs> it's a bridge. Okay. That is so fancy. Well, it's, it's the Elvis style. I really love this style. It's so fancy. I mean, just like from the front of that, with the way it all leads up. I just assumed it's got to be like a religious building, but no. Bridge. Really nice. Um, can we get into these side bits, though? Is there any way in for these? I don't think there is. Hmm. Is that a swan? Oh my god, that's a really cool water fountain feature thing. I think... No, yeah, I like it. I was going to say maybe if the water was coming out of the swan's beak, but I guess that would be a bit too awkward. We've got a nice little garden bit here. And this is how you get into that building. So maybe, yeah, because it's not all completely laid out. Man, if you guys come on this when they've actually finished it, you'll be here for days. I mean, this is just cool. Again, this is that little bit that I was on about adding small detail. So just these little flower pot cups and the beer bottle lying around. That says to me, people come here, people drink, people chat. This is a, a place that people interact in. So there you go. You've got just little hints of that around the city. just makes it come to life. Um, yeah, I'm getting a bit lost now. Let's try fly around a little bit more before we go over that bridge and into the... Oh my god. Holy ships. <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot. Mifflon is a harbour town. And I don't know how I forgot because I keep saying things like across the water all the time. But yeah, there we go. I'm not sure if this is unfinished. It just seems a bit plain. I'd like to see a bit more detail in these stone bits, but I think they look a bit unfinished because this whole area now you can see there's wool everywhere and there's a lot going on. So this is quite cool to see, I suppose, to see how they build, how they plan stuff out. So let's actually go down and take a look at some stuff. So we've got some white wool here planning out the roads, I guess. That's quite cool. Um, houses. Oh, this is a bridge. Damn it. <laughs> Still. Um, oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a dry dock for building ships. That's really cool. That's really nice. Um, but yeah, just like the way they've planned it out. If you look at the, um, the shape of the roofs. And they're already adding. Like here, there's a sag. They're already like defining the shape of what they want to build before they even build it which is quite nice to see like this house over here this is what caught my eye when i wanted to start talking about this look they've sort of yeah we'll do this and the roof's going to slope down down it's going nighttime already huh and the like roof slopes down like this and you know it's sort of the roof design uh, defines the shape of the building which is quite a nice way of looking at it we've got some Nice lighthouses and a lot of spiky towers around here, around this edge of the port area. Oh, yay, it's daytime, someone's online. Let's see. Thank you. And we'll spell it wrong. Um, so yeah, we've got lots of 
different size ships, very unique ships around here. And you can see that this is a, a lot of, I'm guessing, like, the free build? Not the free build. So I like the planning, like, when they've got an idea, they'll build it over here and then they'll move it around. Because, you know, you've got a floating house over there, you've got some domes and some towers floating about. That is the northern side of Mifflon, which we don't really want to get into in this video. We'll go explore that later on. Or maybe this is the north side. Let's let's have three mode. F1. F3. Uh, facing towards east. South. Okay, so we've just been exploring south. That is north. I have been right. Yay. Okay, so let's just... We'll take a look at the harbour around here, and then I think that might be it for the video. Like I said, I want to go explore that castle in like a separate video, maybe. Look at this ship, that is just beautiful. I don't know what it is, because I'm not really a ship guy, but... These ships are really, really nice. Is this a different net texture? That's a really nice texture. That is quite... That is a new one that's uh, specific to Wildcraft. Even just like some of these though, they're completely weird angles. Normally you see them at like just 45 degree angles. I don't know what these are called. I'm really not a shipbuilder. Um, the mast. I don't know. I'm on about this diagonal bit. Obviously I know that the straight bit is the mast. Um, yeah, so they're normally yeah, they're like 45 degree angles. So it's quite nice to see one of that shape. Again, you've got this sort of swan feature going on. That'd be really cool for Viking people. So I'll just sort of hold that there. If people want to try and copy that. Uh, it'll be hard because they've got trapdoors and stuff used in there. But you get an idea of the shape. Um, are any of these got uh, any interiors? Again, you've got some general storage about there. Really spooky tunnel. Which leads up a very steep hill. I would not want to be um, dragging a car up here. You know, that would require a lot of work, especially if you've got a full cart to go all the way up these hills. Um, and then you've got the small little bridge across here. That's where that river goes that we saw earlier. And that huge bridge leading into the big palace castle thing over there. And you can see more ships. And this is just... <laughs> what is that? That is an interesting shape. That <laughs> it, someone needs to be told off for doing that. I mean, come on. Anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah. So here we go. A bit of shipbuilding going on. Um, really, really nice dry dock thing here. I think what might look interest. Oh my god! I need to change these sounds. Music and sounds. Master light off. Okay, just for a minute. I can't even hear myself think. So, maybe putting a few puddles around with the um, metadata of water. I don't even know if that still exists. You know, just on some of these bits here, if that's possible. I don't even know if this is a full block or a slab. I think it's a full block, yeah it is. So you could fit, you know, little puddles around here for a little bit of extra detail. Um, I like the scaffold that you've got here. That's quite nice. Um, and I like that the ship is just really plain wood um it's not painted so like i said i like it. these ones you've got like the gray bluey wood and then you've got the gray wood here for like the swan bit and stuff um where's this it's got all the same shapes and features but you know it's just jungle wood oak wood spruce wood birch wood it's just your basic wood and the way that they've used the birch wood to sort of highlight different areas it looks it looks really really nice in my opinion i just really like that um stone slabs interesting to use on top of a ship but there you go um like i say i'm not really a big ship person but i'm flying around just for those people that like ships so they can be like ah boat um i actually get told off for of calling calling them boats because it's a ship because it's huge blah 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 and again, just like looking all around these docks, you've got the, the cranes with the crazy mechanisms. And you've got all these little storage bits about, uh, the planks of wood and everything. Just really adds to the fact that this ship is under construction. 
if it was just there and none of that stuff was around, you'd think, oh, it's built, it's ready. Because all this crap is lying around, it's like, oh yeah, so it's still under construction and it just adds to the story of the build and adds to, you know, gives it life, it gives it meaning. So that's really just something that um, Artcraft is starting to do now. Uh, I've not noticed it in the last couple of videos, it's something that I've mentioned. I think, and I think they're going back to edit those videos, uh, videos, those buildings and areas at some point. So we might get to revisit Bree and revisit the Shire and stuff like that. Uh, this is quite a nice overview from the top of this little tower here. What time are we on? Timer is nearly run out. Ah, four minutes left on my timer, and we did start it late, so. This will be a little bit longer. Uh, we'll just quickly check out this and then we'll go check out the palace in a separate video. Um, wall of pink wool. Interesting. Oddly shaped boat. I mean, I get it's hard to do small boats, but I don't know. I think maybe having another stir block or two there. It just seems very, very oddly shaped to me. Uh, but the beach. You don't get people doing beaches very often, very well. Um, and this is really, really nice. So, like, the small little rocks around here are pretty cool. Um, the slopey sand must have taken hours. So, congrats on that. Um, what I would say, what I would like to see, maybe, is... Actually, no. That wouldn't make sense. I was going to say, like, you know, a couple more stones and stuff lying about, but yeah, that doesn't really make sense. Maybe in the water, have like a rockier drop. Can we, can we even see underwater? Yeah. So this slopes down very, very nicely. But if you think about it, if, like, as a beach uh, that you would go to in real life, maybe, you know, you've got that long sand barrier, then drop. And then drop. And then, drop. You know, maybe you have, like, a little bit of a rocky cliff. And maybe they have that in other areas. Maybe this is just one example of a different style of beach that they've got. So, maybe that's cool. Um, yeah, that's it for this video, though, guys. Um, if you enjoy the video, go like the video, obviously, please. Um, <laughs> well, that was a bit beggy, wasn't it? Please like my video. Um... You know, go check out Artcraft. Go let them know that you saw the video. Go let them know that you think they're doing an awesome job. Um, the information to do that will be in the description. All of the links to their forums, to the launcher and all that stuff will be in the description. So you can know how to contact all of them. Also, um, there will be another video exploring this palace. If it's complete. If it's not got any interior, then I guess we'll, we'll leave that for now. Because, you know... It's really, really nice, and I don't want to have to do the video twice. Um, we'll also go and explore the North Mifflond area in the next video. And after that, I'm really not too sure where to go. I'll have to ask the Artcraft guys. Um, maybe we'll go look at some places that aren't as well known. And we'll, we'll just look at a couple of small settlements in one video. So uh, I know that Guan... Was it Guan or was it At Atlan? Might have been Atlan. Was uh, showing me a bunch of different elven styles. So it was like a swampy elven. There was a, a wood elf and there was a Samoan elf. Now the reason I'm saying Samoan is because of the style of the building. <laughs> Not that the elves were like walking around thinking they were the rock or something. Uh, but yeah. So I've got a couple of ideas but I don't really know much anymore. The timer is on 30 seconds, so I know that this video is close to 25 minutes long now. So I'm going to stop blabbering on and end the video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.